I love technology. Like everyone, I'm totally addicted. But it's also consumed all of my time where I feel like I'm constantly responding to everyone and not really responding to myself in some ways. But a few years ago, I started thinking a lot about time. My father was dying of brain cancer, and sometimes he only had one good hour a day. So it made me think about how little of time we have. And during that time, my family and I decided to completely unplug from technology one day a week. We call it our technology Shabbats. We've done it every week for more than three years, and it's completely changed my life. I'm Tiffany Schlein. I'm a mother, filmmaker. I founded the Webby Awards, and this series is about how the future doesn't start somewhere far off in the distance. The future starts here. Mm. Let me start by saying that I'm Jewish. Oi! No, it's but I'm not religious. But I love the rituals. I love the rituals. Um, I'm culturally Jewish. And there's this organization I'm a part of called Reboot that was doing a national day of unplugging several years ago. And my family and I did it, and it was such a profound experience that we've done it every week since. It's like our modern version of a very old Jewish tradition of taking one day off a week called Shabbat. We still drive cars and use electricity, but for us, no screens. No TV, no cell phone, or anything that pulls us away from being together. It's our interpretation of the essence of Shabbat, being present. And the idea of taking a day off has like happened all over the world in all these different cultures. To take breaks, pray, do rituals, or to experience time in a different way. In the Jewish tradition, it's from sundown Friday to sundown Saturday. What one of my favorite Jewish philosophers, Heschel, calls a palace in time. For Muslims, the sacred day is Friday. For most Christians, it's Sunday. And for the never distracted Buddha, you could just say that being enlightened, he was having Shabbat all the time. But with all these new delicious technologies today, when do we ever get the space to take time off? I mean, doesn't it feel like you're always being distracted or beeped at or tweeted or... I mean, I just feel like I'm influenced by so many different things. I feel like I'm in an emotional pinball machine. It just seems like a good idea to have one day where no one gets to affect your mood except yourself and the people that you love right around you. Now, taking this one day off from technology every week, I feel so much more grounded and balanced. My husband Ken and I try to be as unavailable as possible, except to each other and our children. I feel like a better mother, wife, and person. Every week, it's like a valve of pressure releases from the bombardment of interesting facts, articles, and tidbits I consume daily as I travel on this info rocket of discovery, procrastination, productivity, and then eventually overload. Now, there's so much good that comes from technology. Just know that I believe that. But I also think about what it's taking away. Being present, being focused in the moment. No radio, TV, even the wire services are cut. It's like, like the town's hanging in midair. Researchers have compared the sense of technological dependency on the feeling that we must be accessible and responsive at any time to that of drugs and alcohol. And it's all because of this hormone dopamine, which is related to mood, attention, and desire, whether it's for knowledge, food, or sex. And it tells you that when you get something and it feels good, you want more of it. So when you're up late licking, so <laughs> when you're up late, hopefully not licking, I mean, clicking from website to website or compulsively texting or emailing, those are dopamine-induced loops. And just as we've discovered the hard way, when we have too much sugar or too much alcohol, you can have too much information. I believe we're only at the beginning of truly understanding the effects of too much technological stimulation on the brain. Smooth as a baby's bottom. The memory has been removed, like chalk erased from a blackboard. So as we rush into this era of hyper-connected human evolution, we need to evolve and adapt to be more mindful of what we're doing online and when we should go off. Since we've unplugged on Saturdays, our Saturdays now feel like mini vacations. Slow living that we savor like fine wine. We garden, we take bike rides, we do art projects. We're just present with the people right in front of us. And it's such a beautiful day. It's my favorite day of the week. 
Now there's one other benefit to unplugging each week. By sundown on Saturday night, we can't wait to go back online. We appreciate technology all over again. But more importantly, the one day off to rest and think about the world makes me reinvigorated to engage in the world with a new perspective. So every week, we remember that the most important thing about technology is it has an off switch. So do you want to try it with us this weekend? Think about it. You can do all those things you've been putting off. Garden, call your mom, look out the window, read a book. Unplug. I'm Tiffany Schlein. I'm a mother, filmmaker. I founded the Webby Awards. And this series is about how the future doesn't start somewhere far off in the distance. The future starts here.